Alright, hello all you people out there, this is Michael of the Two and a Half Stooges, and welcome back to another Game Maker Data Structures video, and this one is going to be all about the stack. The stack being basically the opposite of the queue that I talked about in the last one, in that instead of adding to the end and removing from the beginning, uh, you do what it is known as adding to the top and then removing from the top, so that the last value that you added is also going to be the first value that you remove. That was a mouthful. Anyway. I have gone and done a little bit of uh, code beforehand, and here I'm going to be saying uh, to create the stack, ds stack create naturally. Not too complicated. You should be getting used to this by now if you've seen the first two videos that I made on this. And if you haven't, well, why don't you go do that anyway? Because they're not that long, and they are uh, about queues and lists and other fun things like that. Now, when you run into one of the squares, power up. What did I call it? Power up. I still don't know the answer to that. By the way. The colors are really like annoying, so I might want to go and um, get rid of those so that they're um, generally a little bit darker. Anyway, when you collide with the power up, uh, we're going to be getting into that. To add the object to the top of the stack, we're going to be saying ds stack push. So we're going to push it onto the stack, as it's called. I do not know how that vocabulary came about, but that's what computer scientists call it, and uh, that's what the function's name. So the ID is going to be inv because inventory is too hard to spell. And the value is going to be other.id. And graphically on screen, um, the objects are going to be moved to the uh, stack size. But that's just graphics, and we don't want to um, lose too much sleep over that. And when we hit space, we're going to be saying, if the stack is not empty, we're going to be deleting the instance there. So we're going to be saying n equals ds stack pop, which is the other uh, vocabulary for the stack. I and V is the index and width and and that is our simple code for this uh, stack example. So we're going to run the game. I said we're going to run the game. Oh, there it goes. I didn't see that. And we're going to go and run into a couple of these. I'm just going to take four for now. I'm going to hit space. The one at the end is deleted. Uh, we're going to run into those two. And there we go. That's a rather visual representation of how the stack works. You add to the end and you remove from the end. Uh, the top, as it's known. Naturally, there are other uses for this sort of thing aside from messing with uh, complicated specialized inventories, but I'm going to leave that up to your imagination. Also, as always, oh my god, the stupid studio layering thing. The manual for GameMaker has a rather comprehensive uh, that are used with stacks. So you have create, destroy, clear, empty, uh, size, copy, not that complicated, push, pop. Uh, top is the only one I haven't talked about. And that simply reads the value from the top of the stack without removing it. Uh, read, write. I've talked about those in previous videos, and once again, I don't want to waste any more time than I have to talking about them again, so... Well, they're, go they're all going to be linked together in annotations at the end of this video anyway. So, that's the stack for now. I hope you all enjoyed that. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch the stuff I've uploaded, and I will see you all later.